So here within this particular section, we have to determine the Laplace transform of the exponential function e raised to the power of a of t. So that is given by the improper integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power of negative st times e raised to the power of a t, which is our function f of t, times dt. So that gives us 0 to infinity e raised to the power of negative st plus a t d t so we have 0 to infinity e raised to the power so we're going to take negative s as the common factor so that leaves us with we're going to take t as the common factor so that is going to leave us at s minus a d t now we use the definition of limits so we have limit t going to infinity 0 to t e raised to the power of negative t times s minus a d t. So we get limit t going to infinity. So we have e raised to the power of negative t times s minus a divided by negative of s minus a with the limit going from 0 to t. Now, uh, substituting the value of the upper limit and the lower limit, so we have e raised to the power of negative t times s minus a divided by negative of s minus a minus e raised to the power of uh, t is 0. So we'll have e raised to the power of 0 divided by negative of s minus a. So this will become positive. So we get limit t approaching infinity e raised to the power of negative t times s minus a divided by negative of s minus a plus limit t going to infinity e raised to the power of 0 is 1 divided by s minus a. Now e raised to the power of negative t times s minus a this is a ex decaying exponential function so when t approaches an extremely large number so e raised to the power of negative t times s minus a is going to tend towards 0. It's going to approach 0. So the limiting value of this entire function is going to be 0. Plus the limiting value of 1 over s minus a is simply s1 over s minus a. So this is the Laplace transform of the function e raised to the power of a t. And this is going to exist for s minus a greater than 0 or simply s is greater than a.